Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. This is part six of our advanced rollerball series. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about assets and providing you with links that we personally use to find them. We'll also be setting up a new scene so that we can have multiple levels within our game. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the three sites we use the most for models. The first being the Unity Store. If you'd like to know how to import directly from the Unity Store, we have a video on that that you can check out. The Unity Asset Store is a great place to look for models and you can find lots of free stuff here if you're in need of that as well. There's also the Unreal Marketplace, which typically has less free models, but does have some really awesome stuff. And then finally, there's Open Game Art. Everything here is free, just be sure to check licenses. But this is a great place to find lots of assets. And the asset pack I'm going to be using for this video is actually from this website, and it's from an author named Kenny. And we're going to be using his nature pack. So it's this one right here. I'll have a link for it in the description below, and you can download the zip here if you're wanting to use the same asset pack. So now I'm going to go ahead and import these assets into our scene. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it models. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the nature pack that I've downloaded. We can go to models. I'm going to use the FBX. And then anything you want to import into your game, you can click and then shift click. Or if you only want certain things, you can hold control and click. But I'm going to bring everything in, so I'm going to click on the first one and then shift and click on the last one. And then you can just click and drag into your scene. And as you can see, it's now importing all of these assets. Now that everything's imported, I'm gonna create a new scene. So I'll go over to my scenes folder, create scene, and I'm gonna call this track, as I'm gonna make a racing track out of the paths from the nature kit. So now you can go ahead and open that scene. And then a lot of what's in the mini game scene, we want inside this scene. So what we can do is click and drag our mini game scene, put it inside our hierarchy, and then we can copy anything from our mini game scene and paste it into our track scene that we also want there. Since I'm gonna be using the assets I imported for my level, I don't need any of the ground or walls, and I'm not gonna be doing a circle with the pickups, so I won't bring those in either. But what I do want is the canvas, and the event system that goes with that canvas, and then the respawn point. And so now we can copy these things, and we can paste them into our track level. I'm gonna get rid of the one that's added to the name of these objects. And then we can go ahead and click on the options for this mini game scene. And then we're going to click remove scene. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my models. And up here, I can go ahead and search for the type I want. I think they're called path. And then when I drag these in, they are a little smaller than I wanted. So I'm actually going to click on all the ones that I might use. and I'm just control clicking, and then I'm gonna change their scale factor to 10. And then you can click apply, and this will make all of the objects 10 times their import size. And now I'll go ahead and start on my path. I'm gonna create an empty object and call this paths. And then I'll start with this end closed path and drag it into the scene. And then I'm going to use this transform to put it at zero, zero, zero. And then I'm going to drag it into this empty parent. But before I drag it into that empty parent, I actually want to set this at zero, zero as well. And then as you can see, this has no collider. So if we spawn the player on top of it, the player will just fall through. So we want to make sure to add a collider. I'm going to add a mesh collider. And then what I'm going to do is take our player prefab and drag it into the scene just so I can reference the size of my scene to the player as I'm building it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and design my scene, but I'm gonna cut the video here so you don't have to sit and watch me drag things in and adjust their location. And I'll also just be adding in some pickups while that video is cut. 
So as you can see, I've gone ahead and set up a scene. I added 12 waypoints in, and so that's what we search for for winning. And I've added in our enemies as well. There's three inside this square area. If you didn't watch the enemy video or need to remember how to set them up, be sure to go back and check that video out again. One final thing we need to do before we test and play is go to our directional light, and we need to add our initial spawn script. And to this, we need to make sure that our player prefab is referenced. And the reason we had to add that is because I didn't copy paste the directional light from the mini game scene. So if you did happen to copy paste that, you don't need to add a second one. And so now I'll go ahead and save my scene. So as a recap, we imported some assets from the Open Game Art site. I will link the assets I used in the description below. We also created a second scene and designed that level, being sure to add all the functionality from the minigame into this one as well. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays. We have a game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon with a YouTuber supporter tier. If any of those things interest you or you'd like to support us in any of those ways, I will link all those things in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.